Hey everybody, how are you doing? Katie Sutton here, intuitive channel and founder of Zen Within Academy and the New Earth Now School. Here's Zen Within's day update. I figured I would record this while I was doing a few things because I'm super behind because we're just a few days back from Peru and it seems like all the things need to get done. So I'm gonna work on repotting some flowers while I talk to you, but I think only am I partially back here. My brain is still very much in Peru. It was a very amazing experience and something that I'm never gonna forget. And the guides made it very clear to me when I was sitting on Pachamama that I need to get my yard in order and I need to get some flowers planted and I need to create beauty around me. So I spent some time today going and getting some stuff and ordered some seeds that I'm gonna work with today. But I wanted to check in with you all and see how you're doing. I think it was really interesting timing that <laughs> the whole time we were gone, we were having the crazy solar flares. And of course, I go all the way to Peru and while I'm gone, you all here in North Carolina see the Aurora, Aurora Borealis. The guides assured me that it is not the last time that's going to happen and that I don't have to worry. But I must say, I was a little disappointed, even though where I was, I wouldn't have changed it for anything. And it's interesting because we really had a pretty easeful experience with all the things. You know, we're in a very different country than the United States and things are very different, right? Um, but I had on, I think the second to last day, a major stomach thing and it moved through our whole group. and. It felt like more than just having some water that I shouldn't have had or whatever, you know, whatever things they tell you not to do, probably doing something that I wasn't supposed to be doing. And it's interesting because it was just a couple of days after that crazy solar flare. And last year, all year, I worked with people on being in their power and separating from these systems that are falling apart and the the power center our center of knowing our center of our own intuitive knowing if you will is there in the solar plexus and it seems like we're getting quite an upgrade we are in solar maximum times which means that there's just a lot of light that's going to be coming onto the planet and, and invariably that's going to impact our light bodies and create some kind of upgrade that might happen within our light body and i've noticed with my clients that this theme that we have of doing things to compromise that light body coping mechanisms this theme that we're working with this month of not dropping into those kind of unhealthy patterns is still alive and well even though i was gone for 10 days i went right back into sessions yesterday and boy was that loud again so we're still working on that and a lot of those things really impact our gut and our solar plexus and you know our confidence and our vibration and so we may be using them to numb out so that we don't have to feel things but ultimately what we're doing is just harming our body and harming our energy body and so I think it's time on a it's interesting that I went through this kind of crazy gut healing while I was there. And then about a month before I left, I heard really clearly, Katie, get your gut health in order. And we know that's the second brain, but we also are getting more and more information about how it impacts our mood and how it makes us feel out of sorts if our, you know, our gut biome is off. So just a little food for thought about timing around these solar flares and these other things that are happening. <clears throat> I also want to say that the dream space continues to be very fluid and activated for me. And I am hearing that from a lot of people that their dreams are just next level. I don't suspect that will stop. We might have a little lull every now and again in that, but I feel like that kind of might be our norm for a while. We are just doing so much work in such a short period of time. I was gone for 10 days and it feels like I was gone for 10 years because so many things shifted for me and I still am integrating the changes and you know, it's gonna take me a while to do that. And I'm going in just a couple of months to take another group to Mount Shasta. And it just feels really important that we're getting out on the earth and getting these 
kind of transformation codes right now. So if you've been feeling like you need to go somewhere, you need to experience a, a particular place, I would encourage you to do it was scary to take my first retreat to Peru. We're going to be doing it again. I don't think I've ever been anywhere where I felt more at home or felt more like I was family and felt more connected to the earth. And I've been quite a few places on this planet and it was just really special. And one of the things that happened for me in ceremony, there was a connection with my ancestors and with hummingbird medicine. And so when I came home, the guide said, okay, how are you gonna support the hummingbirds at your house? So I've bought all these plants that they like and I put up a new feeder this morning on the front porch and just got everything ready to go so that I can welcome them forward and welcome their medicine into my life. Now feels like a really important time for us to be looking for symbols and signs and just getting clarity about what we should be activating into. We're moving and have moved into Gemini season, which is always interesting. It's a play of dualistic energy and stops and starts. It's just Gemini energy is just really interesting and sometimes hard to pin down, at least for me. So that's what's up in the ethers. If you are noticing something with your solar plexus, definitely support that and pay attention to your sleep space. Those are the two main things and really look out for those coping mechanisms that you've been relying on and see if you can let some of them go right now. Oh, the other thing that I'll say is a very important theme that keeps coming up, which is, is hiding behind the coping mechanism theme is loneliness and disconnection. That just keeps being something that I hear from people and am working on with people. So get out there and get into the world and, and make some connections and see if that helps you to shift some things. That was one of the best things about being in Peru is just being with people that were like-minded and in a culture that really understands all of the things that I teach and they've been teaching it forever and ever. So anyways, that's my food for thought for the day. I'm gonna get back to planting my flowers. I just wanted to have a quick video for you all this week since I didn't get to chat with you last week. And I'll be back next week with energy update because we're going to be moving into June, as crazy as that is. All right, have a great day, everyone. Take care of yourselves and get outside and maybe plant some flowers. All right, bye.